question for you. So do you feel that the financial industry is being further consumerized like, you know, some of the other industries have already been done? And how do you see that playing over the next five to 10 years? So if you, the answer is absolutely yes. And if you think about it, our lives generally have changed dramatically just over the course of this pandemic. So over the last 24, 18 to 24 months, we have normalized, consumerized experiences like curbside pickup, grocery delivery, online fitness. I've become very obsessed with online fitness, um, investing in brand new types of assets, TikTok and Reddit for investment advice. There are these kind of financial services that are being driven through com- consumer channel. So I think similar to those experiences, we want financial services to be easier, to be more personalized. We want a pleasant experience. We want to manage our financial lives through a clear, intuitive, single pane of glass. Um, we want to plan for and make financial decisions wherever we are and in ways that are the most convenient to us when inspiration strikes. So sometimes we might want advice. Sometimes we might want to do independent research or scroll through our options. Um, And sometimes we might not. We might want agency over our financial lives, but we also want security. And times have changed. So we're very aware, I think, of the risks we face We want to protect our identity, our assets, our family, our futures. And unfortunately, sketchy behaviors by financial institutions and bad actors have have left us uncertain about who we can trust. But for simple tasks, our preferences have changed. A lot of us prefer not to speak with a human or physically go to a branch for support. We prefer to interact via text or we're happy to share plenty deep information about our financial lives with a bot um, and to research questions independently. So this is kind of how consumerization is changing where financial services is heading. It's interesting. I heard someone quote the other day, you know, the best psychoanalyst, and it's true for very sensitive topics that humans engage in is Google (laughs) because everyone is willing to put in Um, you know, things that they're looking to research and investigate about themselves without fear of of shame, without fear of a human kind of looking down on them. So money discussions are are definitely coming into that realm where people are much more comfortable exposing what they know or don't know and educating themselves through technology because they know that there's not kind of, you know, prying eyes or or some sort of judgment uh, on the other side looking at them.